today I'll be making this adorable backpack tag that's perfect for back to school. So create with me and don't forget to subscribe. So I'll go ahead and open a new document in Inkscape. What I'll do is type in the name for this keychain. Her name is Paisley, P-A-Y-S-L-E-Y. -E Hello, honey, there it is. Okay, so what I'll do next is I'm going to go to Path, I'm going to Union, so that all of these letters are one solid word and not each individual, because when you cut it, if they're individual letters, it's gonna cut each letter separately and you don't want that. Okay, so then I'm going to hit Control zero and that thickens up the letters. I don't know if you could tell, let me try that again and I'll make my screen bigger here. So these little thin lines, when you go to cut, they might be too thin and just break apart or just be really fragile. So I thicken them up, Control zero, that's a shortcut or you can go to path and outset but that's how I do it. So then what I'll do is I hit Control D and that makes a copy of this. You can't see it because it's um, on top now. So I just make it a different color and what I'll do again is I'm going to create an outset by Control Zero just as many times as I want until I get the desired effect. Okay, what I'm doing now is this is going to be the background. So let me show you what it looked like. So we're gonna send that to the back. I go to object and then I go to lower to bottom. So that's what it'll look like. Paisley is going to be in pink and the background is going to be in aqua. And I know those aren't the exact colors, but it gives me an idea. So. The other thing that I want to do is sometimes there will be tiny little holes in the background or even in the name, the front um, text. So I am going to go to the background and I'm going to notes over here on the left. And you see this little, little guy right here? I gotta get rid of that or else that'll make, that'll also cut, which we don't want. Let me check the front and make sure everything looks good and we don't have any extra notes that we don't need. All right, looks good. Okay. I'm going to send that back, the background to the top again, just so I can double check the notes. So yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, now what I wanna do is I want to, I did Control Z by the way to undo that last move. Um, I am going to make, let me select both of these. I'm gonna make it a little longer and grab both of them when you do that, not, not individually. And then I'm gonna change this to inches. So right now, it's obviously really large. It's 10, almost 11 inches. So let's go to three inches, roughly. All right, so that's a little over three inches. And I'll just make my screen bigger. Okay, what I want to do next, since it's a keychain or a backpack tag, I want to make the hole for the hardware to go through. So I'm going to make a circle. What I do is I hit control and drag at the same time so it's a perfect circle. And then I'll go ahead and attach it to, it's a little big, let's make it a little smaller. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And you want a good amount of the circle touching the P right here because if it's too thin, like let's say it's like that, it could break off really easily. This is gonna go on a backpack, so you want it to be sturdy. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go Control D, which makes a copy, change the color to white so I can see how the difference. Then I'm gonna make it smaller because that's the inner circle that will be cut out. A little smaller. Oops. That looks good. Okay, I'll pick, uh, sorry, choose on both of those and then go to align and distribute over here on the right. Make sure it's centered and centered. 
Okay, that looks good. So then what I will do is I go to path, I go to exclusion, and now that circle is cut out. And the other thing I'll do is choose that and the background only, not the name. We're gonna go to path and union. Now it's one solid piece. All right, and that is made. So let's see. It is 3.297, make it a little larger, we're gonna go about 3.6. There we go, that's cute. Okay, make it a little. All right, now what we have to do is, no, we don't have to, let's see, this one. Paisley, the name is going to be mirrored because I'm going to be putting 3M tape on the back so that once it cuts, all I have to do is remove that backing and then just glue it, not glue it, tape it, whatever, right onto the background and then we're done after we add the hardware. So it's super easy. Let me go ahead and go to file, save as Paisley backpack tag. All right, that was it. So I'm just going to go to my Glowforge, put my acrylics in and that's easy as that. Okay, so I put my pink acrylic in there. It's got that 3M tape behind there. I may have to add more. But I'm just going to see how it works for now. So let's see if that works. I'll grab my laptop here. Close the lid. All right, let me grab my laptop. We'll be right back. Okay. So there we go, folks. We're going to go to the Glowforge app. Go to the dashboard and new design. Sorry, adjust that a tiny bit. Okay, so new design. Upload and it'll be Paisley backpack tag. I always use black, medium black acrylic for 1 8 inch acrylic for my settings. That's what works for my machine and I've had success with it. So let's hope for the same this time. Okay, so Paisley with the hole, which is the background, is going to be regular. And then Paisley in the pink, that's mirrored because it's got the 3M tape, is going to be um, mirrored. So both of them are cuts. I want the pink to cut first because that's what I put in my machine. Let's see if it fits right here. Oh, it fits perfectly. So then what I would like to do, I want to move this because I don't want it to cut right now. I want to set focus. And that just takes a second. It'll tell you exactly where it will be cutting. see how it moved just a tiny bit so that's actually really good my machine is calibrated pretty well so I'm really happy with that now we'll hit ready and see how long it'll take to cut one minute and 19 seconds so let me get that set up all right so we're gonna go ahead and put this together now that I've got all my pieces cut out and ready to go we're going to take the masking off this this comes all pre-masked from Houston acrylics okay now we can um, take 3m off of this you got to be gentle because it's so thin see what I was talking about earlier if it was too thin it can break apart so you don't want to break it And this 3M is just nice for these smaller items that you have to layer. And that way you don't have to worry about any glue because when it's small pieces like this, it's really difficult to not get any seeping and just have a clean project. I really enjoy using it. If it wasn't so expensive, I'd use it on everything. And I get that 
off Amazon. So I'll try to link everything from the acrylic to the um, adhesive and the findings, which I also get on Amazon. The tassels I got at Hobby Lobby and they were clearance. So I just grabbed everything that they had, like six or seven packs at the time. And they're so cute. I wish I could find them again. Okay. So that is ready to layer and I just eyeball it. That looks good. So then now I can press down. Once it's pressed down, there's no going back. When you first set it down, I just set it down lightly to see if I like the positioning. And if I do, then I'll go ahead and press down. Okay, that's good. So what I'll do is with the masking on, I'll go ahead and put, a, oh, sorry. I'll go ahead and put the key ring on. And these are the ones I was saying I get from Amazon. It's like a pack of, I don't know, 50 for seven or eight dollars. It's a really good deal. And then I will put on this little key, um, sorry, not key ring, this, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? It's just an earring finding, I believe. And thread it through the um, tassel and we're going to put it through the key ring. So on the key itself or the circle itself, not on the lobster clasp. Sorry. It's not easy to put this together and record it at the same time. There we go. Okay. And then now final step is we will put it through the name or you know the name we just created so this is the reason that i keep the masking on the back side is that when i go ahead and put the key ring in it won't scratch the acrylic try that again there we go okay and just thread it through then i can go ahead and take the rest of the masking off the back <clears throat> 